Okay, good evening, peoples. Welcome back to the best show about drummers and drums, but especially drummers on YouTube and also in the galaxy. My three favorite things out of Holy Wars. Let's start lightly. still breathe. So the first thing to me is not only just the intro that follows the guitar with maximum velocity. Jesus is that hard to play. The second thing is the fill that, ha that interrupts that part. It's so smooth, so powerful, so melodic in it comes out of nowhere. Remember when you first heard this track, like when that fail happened, it was like, oh my God, oh my God. And the third thing is the beat that man's a place on the verses. Could you believe that you could play a verse of a song like that? Jesus. And maximum velocity, the four kicks. on the intro as well it's something that to me sounds like a sped up a sped up uh, John Bonham beat uh, for example
Just solid, 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 solid. And almost as if you got a John Bonn on track and sped up by, I don't know, 50%. Anyway, I hope I've done the master justice, rest in peace, the great Nick Menza, and I hope this was enlightening to help you see more detail on those memorable classic beats. There's so much feel, there's so much history of rhythm and blues behind them. Like I said, I made the parallel of the John Bonham beat, but again, if we want to make a parallel of the John Bonham beat to something from the 1950s, 1940s. We can keep going back and back and back. And I think this beautiful heritage of the way Menza played in every song of Megadeth, but specifically on the ones that became the most successful, how much the, the spirit of rhythm and blues, the eighth note pulse, the consistent snare on two and four, the gospel thing, uh, it's a lost art before things becoming stiff, metronomic, you know, aligned to a grid. Menza played with so much pulse, he could have been a drummer on rhythm and blues. The, the, that's the same pulse. So it's better than I thought it was when I was a kid and I first got my copy of what was my first Megadeth re record. It was cryptic writings. It was new when I was uh, getting into metal. Then I backtracked into Rust in Peace. So I thought Menza was something special back in the day. And nowadays, nowadays I think he's even more special because all the, the knowledge that I gathered through the years I can apply the data I collected since I was young and everything checks, every, all the dots connect and Menza is truly one of the greats to me. And I thank you all for, for watching and sharing this passion for him and his music with me. Thank you for your time, your attention. Thank you for coming. I really appreciate if you have anything to say, if you would like to, to leave a like on the video because you enjoyed, you had a good time. Everything is welcome, and again, I appreciate your company. All the best. See you next time.